Tanya Williams here, founder of the GWIZ Coaching and Business Academy, where we teach coaches, managers, and business owners how to become exceptional recreational gymnastics teachers so that you can grow your businesses, grow your classes, and serve hundreds, if not thousands, of children and make a lucrative income and a life for yourselves. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, Tanya, how do I find a simple, clear recipe for putting top teaching into my business so kids keep coming back for more? In the UK, a study was done where they analyzed why children drop out from recreational gymnastics so easily, so quickly after so few sessions. And they came up with three things. Firstly, the moms, they interviewed the parents, said that the children found the lessons boring and repetitive. You know, the kids were doing the same old, same old circuit over and over again. The second thing is, they found that the kids weren't getting enough feedback and interaction from the coaches. And the third thing that they found is that the children didn't feel that they were rewarded and praised and acknowledged enough for their effort and their participation in the classes. Chances are these things are happening in your classes and it's highly frustrating because you really work hard to get them into your classes in the first place and then it's really frustrating when they stop and they sort of don't come back and it's maybe one or two lessons or one or two sessions or a term. Well, I've come across three main things that you need to do to ensure that this doesn't happen. And I call them the three C's. It's really easy to remember. The first is curriculum lesson planning. Curriculum lesson planning. The second is, I call it, chunking and flow. And I'll come back to it in a moment and explain what it means. Chunking and flow. And the third is, of course, communication. The way you talk to the children. Communication. So let's start off here with the curriculum lesson planning. When you have a curriculum and one assumes you have a good curriculum, that's safe and fun, the curriculum gives you the overall picture, the overall vision of where you want your children to go. So if you have a little kid walking in the door and you have a curriculum, you know that by the end of the curriculum, whether it's a year long or two years or six years long, you want them to be able to do that. It might be a round off back, handspring, back tuck by the end of the curriculum. And what you really need to do is have that vision in mind when you plan. And when you plan, you will plan for a year, you will plan for a term or a session of eight weeks, and you'll plan your individual lessons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to plan for your lessons so that they are successful and that you keep the children motivated. Because there are eight crucial things you need to remember when planning your lesson and I'm going to show you exactly what those are. The second thing, chunking and flow. Now, what, what is this all about? Well, it's very simple really. It's about taking a movement that you're going to teach the children and chunking it down or breaking it down into smaller progression steps. So you take the movement, for example, a round off or a flick flack, and basically you break it down into bite-sized chunks so that the children get to master each little part before they put it together in the whole. But the second part is the part that most people forget. It's about the flow. Now, once you've chunked your movement down into seven, eight, nine drills or progression steps, the magic is to be able to create a flow within your session so that the children are constantly moving from one progression step to the next, 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 so that they're essentially performing the whole movement in little bits within the session with a nice pace of work and good steady feedback. And this way they learn so much faster and it's fun because each one can feel successful. The third thing, communication. Now we've all heard communication and this and that, but what really is communicating? 
well as you teach him to young recreational students. And what we'll do in the lessons that come up is we will go through each of these main points. Hey, if you enjoyed this information and would like to receive a three-part training series for free called Tumbling Coaches Blueprint, where you'll learn to really make money in this industry, go to gwizbusinessacademy.com forward slash tumblingcoachesblueprint and I'll see you on the other side.